Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vanya and today we'll be stuffing some of these foams into these tires. And you might want to ask yourself why am I doing this? And it is because the foams in the tires that I have right now have gotten way too soft. This one is so squishy that when even when you set it down it just kind of uh, compresses so in turns uh, the tire is folding over the foam is folding over and not creating enough grip so I'm going to show you how to uh, open up the bead and then stop the new foam in there but before I do that I'd like to show you my new studio I've been in it for a couple months now it's finally coming together how I'd like it to be and uh, yeah this is it let's check it out real quick here are the tires and foams in question on my workbench which I move around sometimes when I film depending what kind of uh, background I would like but yeah that stuff pretty much stays on there at all times my oils whole bunch of parts and stuff got tools whole bunch of stuff here these are my race cars pretty much uh, easy access to them grab and go my 10 scale bag my rat wall so they don't get to the computer yes I have three rats they're the cutest smartest little animals ever there's my mod car haven't been driving it the last couple of weeks my eight scales they're all outdated now or uh, I don't know if you guys know but uh, due to COVID like we literally raced for like three four races this year and then uh, once we could raise the freaking uh, driver stand got burned that burned down it was so sad my computer where I do the editing got Dexter on there there you guys go for you that are interested in that stuff just a cheap old TV that's hooked up to the computer it's where I watch YouTube edit all of that stuff recently got a DX8 it was my brother's old car thing is awesome my old Durango two-wheel so it's just a shelf with cars there's that B4 my first RC car ever and just a little house car that I really haven't driven in years I pretty much keep it uh, for when one of my buddy's kids come over they like to drive it but I don't think they come maybe once a year so it hasn't been driven in a long time if you guys uh, want a detailed video on any of these cars here just leave me a comment down below I'll see what I can do and yeah I mean it's a small room so here's the third wall trash <laughs> little heater and then this is the couch and the coffee table so above the couch if you guys remember from my old studio I had that uh, hanging sh or a uh, blind shelf that I hung my RC's on I'd like something like that on this wall back here and then yeah it's back to my workbench so uh, let's uh, let's start working on these tires let's start uh, breaking them apart and then uh, feeling which foam will be best for them. The only tool you will need is a very very sharp very new exacto knife, hobby knife, blade whatever you want to call it and then you're gonna pull the bead back as you work the knife around so do it in layers slowly. It'll start at the hole well uh, first look if there's any uh, any holes or anywhere where it's unglued if there is not like on this tire then yeah just start working from your uh, vent holes but if you do have an opening somewhere try to work it from there all right let's start going around just slow cuts as you pull the tire back by the time you're done your hand that's doing the pulling your thumb should feel very sore 
if it doesn't you're not pulling back far enough the reason you want it cut as close as possible is so when we re-glue it that the bead makes a nice seal again like it is when it was new just slowly making my way around waiting for an opening the better you glue your tires the harder this is to do unfortunately but it's so worth it like this this tire still has plenty of tread as you can see so i definitely want to run it for a couple more weekends but i did put used foams in them when they were new the tires so the foam started giving out last race day keep working it around so my hand this hand is starting to cramp up from pulling the tire back that's how i know i'm pulling far enough nope so see how it just started going keep pulling okay and it stopped there my hands hurting so i gotta give it a little break and keep on going and the nicer you do this the better it will be once it re-glues it's just coming off now Oof. oh yeah and then the reason you don't want very soft foams is well on an outdoor track you do want soft foams that's why they used to run those uh, open cells back in the day but on an indoor track you want like the perfect balance of soft and firm you don't want it too soft because in the turns it'll start buckling and it won't give you as much bite and then if it's too hard you'll just be floating on top of the surface you'll have very little tire contact to the dirt so it's almost done this one You know, just slowly keep working it until it, all the glue lets go. It's kind of, oh, it's so hard. The, the hand that's pulling back the tire hurts. <laughs> I know I'm complaining a lot, but uh, if you ever do this, you'll know how it is. The hand just starts cramping up it's hard to pull back see when you get to here you can just kind of work it as so it's almost all off a little bit more here and make sure you don't pull the tire you don't want to tear it then you have uh, if you do tear it you can super glue it back together but it's just best if you don't tear the tire come on there it is oh. then just flip it out do it above a trash can because uh, it is dirty in there I'll do it on the table here just so you see but yeah see a lot of a lot of stuff falls out and oh yeah these are my 
Swiss cheese foam so yeah no wonder they gave out they lasted uh, about so a full or a full pair of tires and then I put them in new tire I cut them out put them in new tires and they lasted about uh, halfway so the tread is about halfway on these so yeah any of these even these that are used that don't have as many holes they'll be better in there all right so uh i'm gonna figure out which one of these i want to put in this tire by just kind of fitting it on put the tire over it make it nice So you get a good idea, you know, put the bead in so you get the good idea when you squeeze the tire, squeeze the foam. Oh yeah, these will be perfect. Compared to the, oh yeah, this is the old one. So, so squishy compared to this one. All right. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then just glue the tire back on as I normally would. Okay, so for this I use these rubber bands, glue, just throw it over the tire. Kinda close to the bead and then just... Oh, missed and then let it run there we go so just as you would glue your tire normally like same procedure Make sure it caught the bead. It's nice and even. Make sure it's uh, always make sure your tires are as even as possible. All right now, I'm going to wipe off the excess glue just so it uh, dries a little quicker. And there you have it old foam out new foam in let it dry and that's it so I'm going to have a much better performing tire next week at the track all right guys there you have it hopefully you've enjoyed that quick studio tour hopefully uh, you know now why foams are so important they got to be just right in the car you don't want them too hard or too soft and uh yeah if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time